Hey everybody, Joe McCall here. Um, Alex and I were just online on Skype a minute ago, and uh, we're going to record a Q&A, but uh, either his computer kept on crashing or mine kept on crashing, so we just said, let's reboot our computers, let's just start over again, uh, but he's getting ready to go to a uh, trip, um, so he doesn't have time to redo the video. So what I said I would do is I'd go ahead and do this video. Now, here's the question. Um, He's got a, and this is a common question I get a lot, he's got a spreadsheet of all of the people that he's mailed to recently, and he just downloaded a new spreadsheet of a bunch of new people that he wants to mail to, and he wants to take out of the new spreadsheet all of the names or the addresses of the homes that he mailed to a couple weeks ago. And so one of the ways that I do this, and I'm sure there are better ways out there, is through uh, a formula in Excel called VLOOKUP, V for vertical lookup. Um, so I'm just going to walk through how to do that real quick because I know this is a common question a lot of people have. And, um, and so let me show you how to do this. First, I'm going to say is whenever you're in Excel um, and you have a question about something, go to the help window. Um, so many people kind of forget about help or don't, or look, don't, don't really take it seriously. But if you just go to, to Excel and look up VLOOKUP, you're going to, something's going to come up here. Let me show you uh, what else you can do. There's a website called YouTube and uh, if you well it helps you put in the dot com right the YouTube channel you remember that episode in the office where uh, what's his name Michael is uh, wanting to get uh, he's, he's doing some kind of party at their office and he's trying to get a hold of YouTube to get them to come and film the uh, office party and he couldn't figure out nobody at YouTube was answering the phone uh, so anyway the uh, the um, Go to YouTube and do a search here for um, V Lookup Tutorial. Okay, V Lookup Excel Tutorial. And uh, you're going to find a bunch of videos here um, with a bunch of ads. But here, uh, V Lookup Tutorials. Real simple stuff that you can look at. Now, here is the uh, from Excel. My window didn't close. If you click on here in Excel, you'll see um, the tutorial they have. You see a tutorial they have here on um, Excel, in Excel for the HLOOKUP. All right, so I accidentally clicked on the uh, Outlook ad here. Let me go back. So here is uh, John Flynn three years ago. Even though this video is three years old, I can guarantee you it's still uh, useful. So if you look up. All right, now, so here I have two spreadsheets, all right? I have the old list and the new list. Let me... Uh, Move this up here. So old list, new list. All right. What I did is I, I inserted a new column here next to on his new list. I'm going to look to see if these addresses in this column have, are, have been in the older spreadsheet in this column. Okay. So all I'm going to do here is type in equals V lookup. And you, you can see here what it's looking for. Let me zoom in a little bit more here to make this bigger. Zoom in a little bit more here. All right, so I'm going to do what's called a VLOOKUP with a parenthesis. It's going to ask for the lookup value from the and then the table, the column index, and then I don't know what range lookup means, but I'll show you what I do there. So I'm going to say look up this cell and do a comma in this sheet. Okay, and I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom here. All right, so I have all of the cells. You can see the table right there. And I'm going to do comma. And I want the um, column index number to be 1. I want to give me the results in that table from column 1. And then I do false. Why false? I don't know. All right. So if it comes up, this if it, if it brings in, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's looking for this value in that other table that I highlighted. And if it's there to give me the result in column one, and if it if it doesn't, if it's not there, then do false. So when it brings in that address, that means it's in the other spreadsheet. Does that make sense? <laughs> All right. Um, now, one thing I'm looking at here is I have to make sure that other table that I'm referencing has the dollar signs in it. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this formula all the way down. Okay. 
So I'm going to label this here um, in other spreadsheet question mark. Okay. And let me just make this a different color. So is, is this cell in the other spreadsheet? All right. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll insert a new column here. And I'll do a uh, an if then statement. I'll say if equals if this equals that, then say yes. If not, do no. Okay, not a big deal here. So what I'll do is bring this down. And so if it's an if it's it's an if statement. If this equals that, then say yes. If not, equal no. All right. So then I'll take these. And I'm going to copy them all the way down. And there's a shortcut. And by the way, here's, here's one that's not because it has an NA. It's not applicable, right? So I'm going to take this. And a shortcut to copy all the way down if this works, if I go to the lower right corner and it turns into a crosshairs, I'm just going to double click on that. And it brings it all the way down. Okay. Um, let me go down here. So it just copied that formula all the way down. Again, to do that, you highlight your last thing and you double click on that lower right hand corner and it copies it down. All right. So I'm just scrolling down here and it looks like, yeah, it looks pretty good, right? I'm going to double click and just confirm the formula. So it's looking for this cell in this spreadsheet, column B, and it brings me back column, whatever the value is in column one, Otherwise, it's false. So just keep on, keeps on scrolling down, and he's got a lot of them that are not in there now. So I'm going to go to the bottom. Just make sure that, all right, I'm at the bottom now of his spreadsheet, and I can see all of the, uh, the NAs here and the yeses. So I'm going to go back up to the top, okay? And I'm going to do what's called a filter here. Just click create a filter, all right? And I'm going to say, Bring me all of the yeses, well, actually all of the NAs. So I just filter out the NAs, okay? So I uncheck yes. It takes a while because it's a big spreadsheet. There we go. So now I've, this is a filtered view, and all, these are all of the addresses that are not in the other spreadsheet, okay? So what I'll typically do is I'll just create a new spreadsheet, okay? new workbook or whatever it's called. Come in here and I'm going to just scroll down and copy all of these rows. I'm going to copy that. I did an edit. I mean I did a command C or a control C to copy. It's a lot of info so my beach ball is spinning. And by the way while this is doing this, if, if any of you have a better way to do this, let me know because I'm sure there is. Um, and I know if, you, if you're familiar with databases or access, there's really fast, easy ways to do this. Uh, but go to workbook. I'm going to go to my new spreadsheet and just paste those in. All right. And I'm at the top, I believe, of my spreadsheet. I'm scrolling over to the right to get to where the address was. There it is. Okay. Let's do this. I'm going to window freeze panes so that the window, the top row always stays at the top there. Okay, I'm going to go down all the way. Let's do this. All right, so I have 6,518, 6,517 records that are not in the other spreadsheet. Okay, that's it. So now I have, just to recap, I have three spreadsheets here. The first one was the old list. This is the list that we mailed to, Alex mailed to um, a couple weeks ago. We have the new list, all right, and I have the filter on. Let me get up to the top here. I have the filter on where these are the NAs. And I just copied those into a new spreadsheet called Workbook 1. I copied all of these in here. These are the addresses that he's not mailed to yet. Cool. Does that make sense? So I'll, I'll copy this spreadsheet in there with only a few rows of data so you can look at this formula and copy it.
Okay. Uh, but again, go to Excel help and look that up there. Go to YouTube and look how the V lookup formula works. But you probably get a better tutorial than what I just did. Uh, but I use this a lot. I use it a lot to take take out of one spreadsheet something that's in another spreadsheet. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Mm -hmm.